Hey folks, Big Dean here again, this time taking a look at Premium Color Edition Trunks. Um, this guy is pretty much the same as Vegeta in my book. He's actually a bit better than the original, in all but the skin tone. Uh, but we'll get that get to that in a second. First off, a look at the box, as always. Um, you can see Trunks. Premium Colour Edition, Premium Colour Edition again, the blurb, as is always the case, the Dragon Ball Z logo, ages 15 and up, by the collector shop, as the logo's there, new pixel artwork compared to the original, a different colour as well, and then you've got the gold Tamashi sticker. I think it's going to be one of those nights for focusing. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the top, Burning Attack. Trunks, Premium Colour Edition, Premium Colour Edition. They really like saying that these are Premium Colour Editions, don't they? On this side, picture of Trunks. Oh, that's quite dark. Why is that? Um, it doesn't matter. Nice pose. You've got the blurb on the top again. So it's the L heroic action, movable. Some pictures of trunks in some posies, as per always. And some Japanese that I cannot read. So, yeah. Trunks. In terms of accessories, um, as I said before, he does unfortunately come with less than the original, which is a bit of a shame. The stuff that's missing isn't all that noticeable, but the one thing I really did like about that trunks was the smirking faces. But um, in terms of faces, you come with, he comes with, sorry, the alternative head, which is good. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll try it on the only other normal face it comes with. This one here. Let's see if we can get that. Um, yeah, I don't know if the glare is going to catch that. Hold on. Come on. Nope, that's about as close as we're getting because of the glare. But they've actually painted the pupils black. Um, either that or they're using new Tampa graphs, which is good because the original didn't have painted eyes in the normal face. Um, he comes with a angry face. That's all the normal faces, by the way, just the gritting teeth face and the... Some, the <laughs> what do you call that? The frowning face, the normal face. Um, you get the gritty teeth face, the yelling face. You'll notice there's a little bit of shading at the top. Kind of reminiscent of the Jacks though ones to be honest, but <laughs> um, yeah. And the final face is the Grimace for the Super Saiyan. And that's all the faces you get. You're missing three faces from the original. Um, in terms of hands, we're missing a couple of sets of those as well. You've got his Karate Chop. Not Karate Chop. I am tired tonight. <laughs> uh, karate Pose hands. You've got a pair of gripping hands. A pair of Vegeta style Big Bang hands. A pair of the Key Blast hands. And finally, the fists that come on him in the package. Um, this is not how he came in the package. He came with the normal face on. But if I am totally honest with you folks, I might try it later on. But as of right now, these heads scare me on this trunks. 
pulling this one off literally felt as if it was going to snap the peg straight off. It's that tight. Um, I managed to loosen it on the Super Saiyan head, but when I first put that on, I literally could not move that without straining the peg. It was that tight. <laughs> um, the eagle-eyed viewers among you will also notice that the hair strands on this guy are slightly different. I don't know if the moulding process was slightly different or anything like that, but yeah. Um, oh, last two accessories before I forget. He comes with the normal sword, which is painted exactly the same as the originals. And also the normal sword. Again, painted the exact same way. So yeah, no differences there. Um, I unfortunately don't have the other trunks here. As you've noticed by now, I literally have to put this in a different area every time I have to review. So I don't always have the figures on hand. I'm downstairs tonight. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I will probably do a comparison video with this guy in the normal trunks and the other Vegeta and the premium Vegeta. But yeah, in terms of height, because yes, I have managed to fix my trusty measuring tape. He comes in at just, just taller than five inches, which is a bit small, but from where this trunks was originally based, um, just appearing after defeating Freezer, he was pretty short. So, yeah, we'll let them off with that. We'd like a taller trunks in this sort of get up. Um, maybe at the end of the Cell Saga? Maybe? Hopefully? <laughs> Who knows? A um, couple of years ago, I've never, ever said that they would do a long-haired trunks, but there you go. Um, you really can't tell with Tamashi. Um, let's swap out some hands, shall we? They come off nice and easy, which is a plus compared to what the other ones do. Come on. As you can see, actually, just the same as the original trunks, they've used this sort of mushroom peg instead of the usual ball peg. It goes on and off really easy. Quite good. I do appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, let's have him doing a key blast attack, shall we? I'm not actually sure if it's an improvement, but the feet these actually move slightly better than the originals, and they actually bend down the way instead, um, also. But yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, let's swap a face out, shall we? Put on the yelling face. It's always a favourite. Where did the hairpiece go? There it is. Oh. Now that's, that's a problem with the new trunks. Um, they seemingly forgot to glue the bangs in the hair strands. They keep falling off of the Super Saiyan head, which isn't brilliant. Um, yeah. Should I try pulling this guy off? Oh, the hell with it. What I do for you guys, if this breaks on camera, I will cry. There we go. Really, really scary tight ball joint. Um, and as you can see, yeah, there's quite a sizable gap in there, so the slightest movement in the wrong direction will actually destroy that. There we go. Don't say I'm not good to you guys. That's what he looks like with a normal face and the normal head. You will notice the faces are kind of shiny. 
uh, compared to Vegeta's anyway, which is quite disappointing. Comes across a bit cheap. Um, same as the original, you pull it off on this one, you pull the face, and you put on the only other one left now. There we go. Nice. Sorted. Let's... Oh, my God. I will say that the heat of the camera seems to have loosened that up a wee bit at least, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be swapping the heads on this trunks at all, to be honest with you. It's part of the reason why I've got a second one coming. And I can display them in both forms. Um, reason being, I actually forgot I had ordered another premium Vegeta and he came. <laughs> so now I've got two of him, I put the black hair on him, and now I want the trunks to go with both forms, even though I have the original. But <laughs> um, yeah, tell you what, let's take that off, shall we? As we do the articulation quickly. The head is kind of limited. Um, I've just realised there's quite a lot of light missing whenever I use my hands there. That's annoying. I thought I had them set up right. Anyway, <laughs> articulation in the head is actually kind of limited, unfortunately. You get up a bit that far, down a bit that far, same as before, and it's limited by the jacket going both sides. The arms are a little bit focused for me, thank you. In fact, let's see if that helps any. Yeah. Let's move the lighting to be a bit more forward focused, shall we? The arms are just a ball joint going into the chest. Can go up that far. If you push it all the way, it goes just past 90. Double jointed elbows, which is good. Double jointed wrists, which get quite a lot of movement. The chest and waist articulation can go back quite a bit. Forward, fair bit as well. Either way, hand. Um, and pull down function on the feet, the legs, sorry. Double jointed knees. Again, these bits still come off compared to the original. And a ball joint system at the bottom with toes that still really don't do anything. But as I showed before, they do go up a little bit further than the original and they can go down, strangely enough. They've sort of cut a bit more than they did the last time. Yeah, in terms of colours on this guy, before I finish up, the hair is that really nice metallic sort of sheen paint that they're using now, which I really hope they do for all Super Saiyans now, just to keep it, well, I suppose they'll only do it for premium colours. But still, it's a really good sort of colour on it. I really do like it. As you can see, the face itself is a little bit pale. Not pale enough to notice. Well, pale enough to notice, but not enough for it to be annoying. Um, the jacket, it's a little bit glossier than I'd like it to be. And the vest as well. This bit is nice and matte compared to the original, which is kind of shiny. And the boots are identical. So yeah. Overall, I like this colour a lot better for the Super Saiyan form. Um, normal form, you can get away with it, but the colours really pop in this form. Which, I suppose, is exactly what it's meant to be for. So, yeah, guys. If I can get to stand. Come on, Trunks, any time of the day for me, pal. 
There we go. So yeah, guys, um, that'll do it for this video. So until next time, I shall see you later.